My name is Aaron Pomerantz, and I'm an entomologist, which is a scientist who specializes in insects. I've been working here in Tambopata for the last year. Insects and other arthropods are the most diverse organisms on the planet, and especially here in Tambopata, which is a biodiversity hotspot. So many tourists come to this region to see more of the megafauna, like the jaguars and the macaws. Um, but I'm interested in things that are much smaller, but more diverse. And this diversity means that they play many roles in the environment. Some are decomposers, some are pollinators. So they're very impactful to the ecosystem overall. Perfect. Could you hold it a little more this way? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Part of this research is just sampling the biodiversity here in the Tambopata region. So there are many insects and other arthropods that have never been documented in the area. So some are new to science and some have new behaviors or life histories that have never been seen before. It'll look like this. So if you zoom in really close, you can see he's very well camouflaged. That's the spider right there. You can see his legs, his abdomen right there. So what first lured me to Tambopata was the discovery of a new spider, which constructs a decoy of itself. So this is known as the decoy spider, and this had never been seen before. It was totally new um, and was found just along the trail surrounding the Tambopata Research Center. So that was a really exciting discovery. So we're following up with some research on the decoy spiders. Um, we're trying to figure out what species they are, and is there any variation in the way that they're building these structures? Great. So this is a decoy spider. We found them on the island, and this is number 23 of the trip. So we think that they sort of just catch dead insects and leaf material, construct a fake spider in order to look bigger. So this could make them uh, appear threatening to things that want to prey on spiders. I came here to follow up on that research. And since then I've started new projects. There are these new bioluminescent beetle larvae that we're researching in the area, as well as some new butterfly species. There's so much diversity out here that we really just need more manpower. And I think this has a lot of opportunities for researchers to come here who want to study their organisms of interest. Um, there's anything you can imagine from flies to beetles to butterflies. There's so much diversity out here that is just understudied. So there's a lot of work that still needs to be done in the region.